In 2014, after Battlefield 4's rough launch, ACO Andrew Wilson said this. You could go down the really conservative path, which some people did in the industry. And your game didn't have any of those problems, but you also got the feedback of, it just feels the same as it used to. Or, you could push the boundaries and end up in the situation we ended up in. Neither is good. But I would like to be in the company pushing the boundaries. It's safe to say 2042 has pushed the boundaries very far but ended up in probably a worse situation than 4. 2042 has tons of potential but he has decided to ignore the community when it comes to what features make Battlefield. Battlefield. Even going as far as completely revamping the gameplay experience almost entirely and not in a good way. Classes gone, scoring system changed, gunplay isn't what it used to be. Everything down to the little things changed to make for a very unbattlefield like game. Push the boundaries, next gen game but remove all of what made the franchise popular in the first place. I don't hate 2040 to its fun but to think that it could be miles better than what it currently it makes me wonder. Why? He is greedy and wants money we all know but you know what else makes a shit ton of money? Great good quality well developed games. What hurts is that DICE and EA are so able of doing that. Battlefields 3, 1, 4 and to a certain extent 5 are proof of that. I'm praying this is just another rough launch and the game ends up being good but the way this game was handled feels like a betrayal. We as a community need to keep pressuring DICE and E to fix 2042 before drastic measures would have to be taken to save the franchise. After all, World War III is about to begin.